How's it going everybody? It's Amanda and today I'm going to be talking about the Aurora Nano Leaf LED light. You guys have been asking for it so let's get into it. But just before that I'm going to let you know about a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this HP Stream 14 laptop but there's also prizes from Victor, Tyga, Jacqueline, Polantech, and myself and they're giving away their own prizes so hit that link down below and you can check out what they're giving away. Make sure you guys subscribe. So a big thanks to those guys for teaming up for this giveaway. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you guys say. So let's jump back into the review. So these were the only thing I picked up when I was Black Friday shopping. I went out Thursday night after all of our Thanksgiving festivities and picked these up because I'm in love with RGBs. Um, I have the LifeX bulbs here. I don't know if you can see it because I've just recorded this with my iPhone, but these are like going like blue, green, purple, orange, or whatever colors they're doing. But I really love customizing them and playing with them and setting them to music and all kinds of stuff like that. If you guys would like more info, let me know. But basically, I was trying to find a way. A guy had asked on Reddit, hey, I'm trying to set my son's room up for a fire truck theme. He's a little kid, and nobody could tell him how to flash the lights. And there's definitely ways you can do it with Hue and LifeX. If you guys are interested, let me know. But let's go back to the light and focus on that. So retail price is around $200 for these, and in that you're going to get nine of these triangles. Now this is the back side here, and it comes with these 3M tabs, which are these two pieces that are the same at the top. And if you see those three little slots where you're going to slide something in, that's where you add these little chips. And it only takes one of them to power it, and you keep connecting them until you get them all lined up, plan out your design, and stick them to your wall. Now, for most people, that would be simple enough, but I have textured walls, so I took a piece of cardboard, cut out my design, screwed it into the wall, and then mounted the 3M tape to that. And so far, it's been holding up since Thanksgiving, so, you know, a month or whatever that's been now. And this is all ran through this little control box. You plug it into the side at the end, and then you run that into the wall. Now you can use it to press the button to manually control these, which I love because sometimes I don't have my phone on me or maybe your internet's down because the weather's bad, but you don't always have to have your phone. So this is what the first page of your app is gonna look like and it's got all these presets and then down at the bottom you see good morning, good night, I'm home, I'm leaving. If you're on an iPhone, those are all options for using HomeKit and Siri to control it. I'm gonna speed this up, but I'm quickly gonna flip through all these. Here you've got a seizure warning, but these are all the presets. They have different colors and different little patterns they do, and it's all just preset, so you can just quickly choose some and see some ideas and options. Maybe you're not that creative. And then here down at the bottom again, as I said, we have our options for HomeKit, and you just tap the little pencil, and you can go in and set it up, which I'm on good night. You'd probably wanna have it shut it down, but just to show you here, you just select and it's just really easy to set up and then you just use Siri to activate those. To save time, I'm not gonna show you everything, but I do want you to see that there's these arrows that you can change which direction the lights transfer from and all the different flows and ways that it transfers. Really customizable once you dig in and play with it. So say you really love Snowfall, which is the one we've been looking at, but you wanna use different colors than these snow colors, but you want the same kind of transitions and everything going on. So you see the two colors of blue and then the white, you tap the pencil beside that and you can go in and select your palettes. Now I kind of screwed up when I was doing this demo. You have to select each of those three circles and then set the color and then select the next circle, set the color, and I forgot to do that, but long story short, we got red, light blue, and dark blue going on here. And one thing I really don't like is it's not showing you in the app what's going on. Right now it's running on my wall. You can see effect running, my wall shows it, but the app still shows the previous color. And that's kind of frustrating. You can also just go in and build your own complete custom colors and looks. And I guess it's a little bit confusing in the app because I set these colors and I can change the brightness. And if I go over and hit random, it's not gonna do the two colors I just set. It's gonna do that whole palette at the top that you see. So I think there's a few things that are confusing within the app, but as far as the actual performance of the light, it's beautiful, it's so much fun to mess with, and I absolutely love it. Also, those colors that you see are just suggested ones. You can actually manually go in and hit the little painter's palette and select your own custom tuned colors as well. Also built into the app, you have schedules. You just hit this plus sign and you have your dates and times and you can set what scene's going on. And the last page is just settings. So as far as the light itself, I give it 12 out of 10 points. It's great, it's perfect. The app, I give it maybe seven. And the Siri control, I give it maybe three. She doesn't recognize my things that I'm saying even when I'm talking about the light by name. And it's just a bit buggy. Alexa control is coming soon, I cannot wait for that. But I say this is an Insta buy. You can see that they're kind of 
blowing up everywhere on the internet. They are fantastic. Also guys, don't forget about the giveaway. Hit that link down below and check out everybody's channel. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, it really does help out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.